everyone, this is Travis Quadlander here at Rush Truck Center's Dallas Peterbilt. And today we're looking at a beautiful black sapphire 2021 Peterbilt 389 with 72 inch flat top sleeper. This is a true owner operator spec truck with the Cummins X15 performance series engine, 565 horsepower, 1850 pound feet of torque, paired to an Eaton Fuller 18 speed manual transmission, uh, all aluminum wheels, all disc brakes, air ride front suspension with a low air leaf rear suspension and a 336 gear ratio. Of course, this is a 72 inch flat top sleeper. Uh, you guys may be familiar with what Peterbilt used to call this a 63 inch sleeper. Uh, it is a platinum sleeper as well. Like I said, full owner operator specs. Uh, we do have a couple of these flat tops available right now. I think we've got a flame red uh, available and some more uh, incoming as well. Uh, I've got a great selection of uh, 389s in stock and at least another 20 389 78 inch sleepers that'll be here in October. We do have build spots available for the end of the year as well in case you needed to make a purchase uh, before the end of the year for tax reasons or if you just wanted to get a 2021 before the uh, 2022 uh, price increase. Seems crazy to be thinking about 2022 model years uh, this early, but man, uh, time flies when you're having fun, I guess we could say, in this crazy year that we've been having. Um, but business has been great. I hope that's a good reflection of uh, everybody out there in trucking as well. Uh, let's talk about this truck. Again, this color is called Black Sapphire. I really love this Black Sapphire color. It's not just your standard flat black. Sorry about the dirty fenders right there. Hopefully you can see some of that blue metallic flake in that paint. It's just a beautiful, beautiful color. Um, I'm a very big fan of subtle coolness. You can see my reflection in that awesome paint. Um, over the top trucks are really, really cool. Um, it is fun to do those every now and then, but subtle cool things like the black cherry or this black sapphire from a distance might not, might not look that different, but when you see it up close, you can really see that difference. And uh, for me, that's kind of cool. Just that subtle coolness, not something way over the top. Um, that doesn't mean we, we uh, cut any corners on this truck. It is a true owner operator spec truck. Uh, like I said, with the Cummins X15 performance series engine, 565 horsepower, 18 speed manual transmission, all aluminum wheels, all disc brakes, platinum interior, air ride front suspension, and the lower air leaf rear suspension. Um, one thing we typically like to do on our flat tops is put no air horns on there. Um, that allows you to put the uh, two extra marker lights or four extra marker lights to get the seven or nine. Or if you want to add uh, eight marker lights, that'll give you 13. Um, I think on this truck, you could leave it with the uh, amber lenses or the amber bulbs if you did the amber lights package on the uh, cabin sleeper. But I think smoked or clear would look uh, really good as well. Uh, this truck was specced with the stainless steel visor from the factory. Uh, I do think these trucks certainly look better with the 14 inch or 12 inch uh, blind mount drop visor, but uh, that standard factory uh, option is, is still a very nice option if you want the higher visibility and uh, sun doesn't uh, bother you too much while you're driving. Um, let's talk about the front of this truck. We've got it equipped with the uh, 18 inch Texas style bumper. Uh, it's chrome, of course, with the two tow pin holes. That is the largest bumper that you can get from the factory. Um, if you want us to put a custom bumper on there, 20, 22 inch, 24 inch tapered, flip up, no flip up, or tow pins, no tow pins, one or two license plate resets, uh, square end, round ends, however you want us to do it, we can do that for you. Uh, getting custom parts is a little tricky right now, just with everything going on. Um, vendors are having a hard time keeping up, but we do try and keep a good selection of parts available on hand or uh, very easily uh, uh, ordered and shipped real quickly. That Peterbilt red emblem looks great against the uh, black sapphire paint. Low Pro 24.5 tires all the way around with the Peterbilt ovals. Uh, we've got Bridgestone R284s up front and the uh, Bridgestone M713s in the rear. 
You see we've got the 30-inch uh, Hodge-built premium stainless steel fenders. Those are the triangle mounts. Uh, these 30-inch 30, 30 uh, quarter fenders are the largest you can get from the factory. Uh, you also have a 27-inch tube mount, and I always forget it's either a 22 or a 23 or a 24-inch triangle mount uh, as well uh, from Hodge-built. Additional toolboxes on both sides. Uh, we go with the 100-gallon tank on the uh, driver's side and 150-gallon on the passenger side. Uh, we aren't able to fit the 110-gallon uh, tank on there and have the scrap location the way we want it. So unfortunately, we do sacrifice 10 gallons of fuel, um, but the truck looks a lot better that way. Uh, if you want us to spec it with 110, we can still fit it on there. Um, your uh, fuel cap's probably going to be located inside of that fuel strap, so it looks kind of funny and a little harder to uh, fill up. Of course, your stainless steel death tank cover. Uh, certainly love swapping out that blue cap with the, uh, the chrome cover for that. Seven inch true dual exhaust. You can see your Y pipe right there and your Kistling battery disconnect switch. Um, we did spec this one with the uh, steel reinforcement on the steps. Not a big fan of how they look. Some guys really, really like them. Um, Personally, I mean, it's an option that I can go without, but totally up to you if you guys want to have that or not. Again, seven inch true dual exhaust. These are the uh, 60 inch tips with the uh, miter cut tips. Uh, factory just calls these straight pipes. Uh, factory also offers a curved tip or a 45 degree bend. And of course, if you want us to swap that out with uh, true uh, eight inch or seven inch straight pipes, uh, we use Dynaflex mainly for those. Uh, we do have that option as well. Full-size sleeper door. Makes it very easy to access your storage underneath the mattress. And of course, above the mattress, when you got your groceries or anything like that, you don't have to uh, bring them through the driver's door. You can just load them up right there. Your toe pens are right there, hazard triangles, and your fire extinguisher. These lights come on automatically whenever you open either of the doors. Um, there's your speaker system with your subwoofer. On the flat tops, you're only able to uh, spec it with the standard or the mid-level speaker package. On the uh, high roofs, you can do the uh, premium speaker package. Also spec it with the uh, chrome cover on the uh, vent as well. Deck plate access on both sides. Six flush mount load lights. Got your pogo stick right there. We can relocate that. Uh, wherever you'd like. Like I said, low air leaf rear suspension. There's a look at your Holland FW35 fifth wheel plate with air slide. That is the uh, most popular fifth wheel in the industry. We've got the uh, stainless steel premium mud flap hangers. Spring loaded so you don't have to worry about damaging them going over the bumps. We spec this one with the uh, LED backup and tail lights mounted inside of the frame. Take a look around the other side of the truck. Locking fuel caps, I'm not sure if I mentioned that earlier. You can see that the truck is already pre-wired uh, for your lights. 150 gallon fuel tank. Of course, pre-wired for your freezer lights as well. Take a look inside the sleeper. Again, platinum interior. We've got the uh, black leather, uh, Peterbilt premium leather ultra ride seats. Uh, premium ultra ride gives you a lot more features right here in terms of your customization. Keyless entry. We've got the Arctic gray interior, rosewood dash. Again, platinum interior, the chrome bezels are standard on that. Um, we do have it pre-wired for your CB radio. If you want us to mount the CB radio for you, we'll do that for you, no extra charge. Um, there is no train horn installed on this truck. They don't let you install a train horn from the factory, but it is already plumbed to use with that uh, leather pull tab right there. Um, I personally installed the train horn at no extra cost for you guys, because it's good to have uh, get some stuff going on in here. PTO switch right here on your dash, rear suspension dump, fifth wheel lock, and your inner axle differential lock. And I'm gonna keep bringing this up, hopefully until somebody at Peterbilt gets it fixed. 
Your front and your rear axle temperature gauges are as far away from each other as they possibly could be. Um, certainly let my Peterbilt rep know. Shout out to Aiden, appreciate all you do. Hopefully we can get that fixed ASAP. Um, again, if you're taking delivery of this truck, I would move your rear axle temperature gauge right here to where your oil temp is or your front axle, axle temperature gauge to where your transmission temperature gauges so you at least have them next to each other again i'll take care of that for you no extra charge leather up steering wheel this truck has 48 miles on it so you will be the uh, first person to sneeze in it there's a look at your eaton fuller 18 speed manual transmission we do the uh, swing back armrests on uh these seats we are gonna start specking more trucks with the uh, Sears Atlas 80 seats. Um, they are very, very comfortable, a little bit wider base. Unfortunately, you aren't able to do the uh, swing back armrests on the Atlas 80 trucks, but had a lot of requests for it. So we are listening and we're gonna start doing it. Uh, so this is your flat top. I'm not a really tall guy myself. I'm about 5'11", six feet when I stretch real good in the morning. Um, you do have to hunch over a little bit whenever you're in here. Um, but you still have a ton of room. Uh, obviously we've got this spec with the rear window and that is tinted. Um, certainly helps out backing in places. We've also got this truck spec with the business center. Tray slides out. We've got these storage bins here as well. Premium mattress. Uh, these vinyl covers right here, you're able to black out that window as well as your full size door. What's cool about this is you also have a separate cutout uh, just for your vent right there, which is pretty cool. So that way you can access just the vent without taking the cover off. Again, you do have ventilation both directions right here. Got directional map lights, both sides. You've got a uh, sleeper light control switch right here and on the dash. So on the 78 inch sleeper, your cup holders and storage bin are at the base of your mattress. On the 72 inch flat tops, you've got two cup holders right here, the 12 volt power outlet, and the storage compartment right here. Which I think it's pretty cool. And that is padded, by the way. Um, in this closet right here, we've got tons of space. Uh, you've heard me say before, we do have the option to install a uh, fridge right there. We do have to remove this door. So you do lose that door, but you do add a shelf above the fridge. It's carpet lined the way we do it. So it's just a really nice finish. I'll try and throw up some pictures of that right now. And of course, the coolest view in trucking, a Peterbilt 389 extended hood. Point that wing on the horizon and keep on trucking, brother. Let's take a look underneath the hood. You've heard me talk about it before and I will bring it up again. Peterbilt 389, the only truck available with an all aluminum hood. Makes it very easy for me to open this hood. Again, one-handed while I'm filming. And there's a look at your Cummins X15 Performance Series engine. 565 horsepower. 1850 pound feet of torque. Love those big, bold Cummins X15 name badges. Again, the Performance Series gets this black diamond plate where the Efficiency Series gets a brushed aluminum look. And there's a look at your specs. Hopefully you can see that 565 horsepower, 1850 pound feet of torque. We do have this spec with the upgraded Davco 382 fuel water separator. Remote lube points greasable front springs, and of course, your ride like a cloud feel on the air ride front suspension. Again, all aluminum wheels, 
all disc brakes. Removable bug screen. And then your anti-blowdown. Go ahead and start it up so you can hear it. First, make sure we're in neutral. All right. Again, it's not going to make all the noise that a old school cat is going to make. But it's a great smooth running truck, much quieter, which supposedly is uh, going to contribute to less driver fatigue. May not sound as cool going up the hill as an old pre-emissions engine, but it's still a great engine. Get that closed up. And there's a look at our beautiful Black Sapphire 2021 Peterbilt 389. Give me a call. My name is Travis Quadlander. I'm here at Rush Truck Center's Dallas Peterbilt, right here in Irving, Texas, off of Loop 12 and Union Bower. My cell is 817 504 7220. Hablo Español, puedo llamarme a 817 504 7 Guys, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments if there's anything that you'd like to see me um, focus on more in uh, future videos, let me know. Look forward to hearing from you. Thank you truckers for keeping our country running when we, when you, when we need you the most. Take care, I look forward to hearing from you.